Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to teach you how to do the dragonfly. Since my 10 beginner moves compilation video has been getting more popular, I've gotten a few requests for beginner move tutorials. So here we are. This is a simple beginner move from a single foot lock and can be done with or without a spin. Before we get started, if you're new here, my name's Brendan. I'm a physio based in Australia and on this channel I make videos about all things aerial. So if you enjoy circus fun, subscribe and turn on the bell to become a member of our high flying family. All right, let's get started. And remember, you've got this. If you're trying this for the first time, make sure you start low to the ground so you can step down if you need to. Start with a single foot lock on both silks and come to a stand. Reach up high to separate the silks, bring your free leg and shoulders through one at a time and regrip with your thumbs facing down. With your hands at about head height to begin with, arch forwards keeping your free leg bent and your supporting legs straight. To exit, pull up with your arms, bring your supporting leg back underneath yourself and come to a stand. Bring your shoulders and free leg back through the silks one at a time, re-gripping with your thumbs facing up. You can then kick off your foot lock and come back to a climb. Alright, now this is a pretty basic move but there are a few things that can go wrong. Avoid trying to separate the silks right where your support hand is. This is often quite difficult and the silks get tangled. Instead, reach up high to separate the silks. You'll be able to find the gap so much easier. Once your shoulders have come through and you've re-gripped with your thumbs facing down, avoid having your hands too high up or your arch will be very small and it won't look as good. I'll show you here in a spin so you can see it from the side. Starting with your hands at about head height should give you a reasonable arch to drop into but it's also not too difficult to get out of. On the other hand, if you grip too low and your hands are right down near your shoulders and you're not strong enough, your arch will be really deep and you'll have trouble getting out of it. This is why it's really important to practice low to the ground until you're confident with your own ability. Another common mistake is not actively engaging through the supporting leg and letting it bend during the pose. Unless you're bending the knee intentionally, you should try and keep it extended as much as possible and only the front knee should be bent. I should also mention that I forgot to film the mistakes until after I'd put away the crash mat. You should never practice without a crash mat. If you found this tutorial helpful, you can support the channel by clicking the like button down below and subscribing for more videos. I'll leave another video here in case you haven't already seen it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.